So you can see I've added a few things to my setting here from the last, if you watched the first video. Now we're going to add some characters. So go to your pixton.com account. And if you've made your avatar, you can always go back in and change it up a little bit. So you can change your character. You can add um, a different outfit or a different pose. Uh, and when you find that, uh, what you'd like, I'm going to put this one. Um, and you go to here, make sure you download that full body. And in order to get it into your slides, you can do it two ways. If you see it, if you're on a, a MacBook, you can just drag it straight into your slides. But if you're on a Chromebook, you might want to go to insert image, upload from computer, and then you're going to go to your downloads. And it's going to look different than this. This is on a, a MacBook right now, but you look for your downloads. And I want you to look for, um, well, mine's on my desktop, but you would look for, um, oh, I'm sorry, it's in the downloads, um, that image. And so I'm going to, there it is. I see it right there. And I'm going to make sure. Now she's huge in there. So when she's selected, this character selected, I can grab by the corner and I can drag down to get it to the right size. Now you kind of want to play around with this to get the right um, height and where you want her. I'm going to leave her um, right, maybe right there. There you go. And now to get other characters, you can go back to Pixton. And again, of course, you can go through and uh, change up your character um, any way you like with outfits or hair color or a hat or whatever you like. But there's another way as well. And you can go into your class and you can see I have a couple of um, comics that I've started. And with this, I can add a new panel, which I think is pretty cool. And if I want to, I wanna work with the white background. Make sure I have that white background. And I can kind of play around with adding characters. So if I click on characters, I'm going to, uh, I wanna get rid of that character and I wanna add a character. Now here, there's a whole bunch of characters that you can go through. So maybe I want him in the story. And so if I select him and then I can change his outfit um, and there's all sorts of things. If I want to choose a teen outfit, I can choose this and I can move him. I want to move him to this white space. I want to make sure I have that white background and I can do all sorts of things with the character in terms of um, change his facial expression. Um, maybe I want to, there's something gone wrong in my story or my narrative, and I can also change the action. Um, like he can look uh, this way, right at, or like this. Oh yeah, that, that might be good. And so if I want to use this character, um, since I am now in the comics, I need to take a screenshot of that. So you need to follow the other tutorials for how to take a screenshot with the device you're on. This is going to be a few steps here. Because if I take that screenshot and I insert it, watch what happens. I'm going to go to upload from computer. And this time on my MacBook, it's going to be right there um, on my desktop. But look at the white background on him. I don't really want that on there. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to go to a really great program called Remove bg see i've already been trying this out with him remove b dot bg and from here i can upload any image so you had to have had a screenshot i can select that screenshot and watch it removes his background now i can click download go back to my slides and watch now i'm going to just drag it in now you know the other way of doing um getting your images in upload from your computer and if you're on a chromebook you would just select um, the image from your downloads now i have to get them the right size right proportion is that about right sometimes i look by the size of the feet that can help sometimes you got to play around with it so you get it how you like it and so if i want him here he's a part of the character or part of my plot if i'm writing my narrative now i can insert um, from here i can insert some call outs if I want to have um, some speech bubbles and maybe I want to put it right here, um, a speech bubble and I can drag that I am doing the talking. Oh no, actually let's make him do the talking. I'll have it over here and I can begin some of my narrative writing right here. And so if I double tap in there, I 
right. And so another little tip to this to make that really stand out and look cartoonish, click the pencil, select black, and you can make it a little bit thicker. So it really stands out behind that background. You can go through and add all sorts of characters, or you can even go to other kinds of call outs. There's a thought bubble. Maybe we'll give her a thought bubble. And you'll see why I'm going to leave some space here in a minute. Um, maybe I want to squeeze that thought bubble in right here. Oh, and look how crowded that is. So that's not going to work. I need to make that a little bit bigger and stretched. And I also can change the font in here and make that smaller. There we go. And make sure I'm spelling correctly. There we go. And again, I want to make, I want to take that a little smaller. Oh, that'll work. He doesn't know yet. So that's part of my narrative writing. If I want to, I can add in some narrative text to get that action moving along. I'm going to put it across the top. And up here at the top can be my story. Uh, and I can start writing in here. And I can say, uh, We, you get how you can start writing your text. You can actually get quite a bit of text in here if you change the size of your font, maybe down to 10, uh, and I can start to rearrange that a little bit and get a little more text in there. 